uh, what they do is say, no, 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 everything is uh, hotsy totsy, uh, uh, kissy huggy. It is not. The president, uh, when he invited uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, uh, Netanyahu, uh, to the White House, uh, was extremely rude to him. Treated him as though he were a third world uh, tyrant. Uh, and uh, instead of one of, uh, allegedly, uh, the United States' closest allies. Now, I'm not uh, making these things up. The New York uh, Times uh, this week said, in effect, uh, directly, that the president is now engaged in changing the policy of the United States to make it more acceptable to the uh, Arabs. Hi, this is Susie Rosenbluth. I'm the editor and publisher of the Jewish Voice and Opinion, a monthly news magazine published in Englewood, New Jersey. And I'm a proud member and supporter of the Unity Coalition for Israel. And you can also put me down as a great admirer of Esther Levin's. I'm happy today to be reporting at the rally in New York City on 2nd Avenue between 43rd and 44th Streets, right in front of the Israeli consulate. Today is Sunday, April 25th, and it's a wonderful day because it's raining, windy, and it's nasty, and there are so many people here. Thousands of people have come out because they feel so strongly about the message that is being delivered by this rally. The message that they're trying to get across is that they want to give strength to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, to all Israelis, to hold strong, because despite the pressure and, quite frankly, insultingly obnoxious behavior that has been exhibited towards the Israelis in the, in the person of their prime minister, the American people feel so strongly pro-Israel. And this is something that should never be forgotten by the Israelis. One of our problems, we have got to make sure that our uh, pro-Israel leaders in Congress speak up. The Jewish contingent in Congress, we have a lot of Democrats in Congress, in the Senate, and we have not heard a word from them. Their silence has been, as so many speakers here today have said, deafening. We heard this from a New York Assemblyman Dove Heikend, who spoke movingly and passionately about the need for people to speak up, because if we don't speak up, it, it, the results can be deadly, and that, of course, was Dove Heiken's message, and it's been the message of so many other people who have been here today. It was the message of Curtis Lewa, a radio personality and a tremendous supporter of Israel. It was the message of a very interesting fellow named Michael Faulkner, who is the, he's an African-American. He's the Republican candidate for Congress in New York. He's looking to take Wrangell's seat. And he spoke also movingly about the importance of standing up for Israel. It seems absolutely clear that if Mr. Faulkner is successful, there will be no better friend for Israel. He has a very interesting website, which is at faulknerforcongress.com. I suggest people take a look at it because it's fascinating. Another important person who was at the rally was a fellow named Louis Pong. He is the head of a Cuban-American National Friendship Foundation. Mr. Pons told us that he was a supporter of Obama's, who is just devastated at the way uh, the president has behaved towards Israel. Mr. Pons' position was that uh, he believes very definitely that Mr. Obama can be convinced to change his policies. He said, Mr. He said Obama must change, because without Israel, Mr. Pons said, Without Israel, who is going to be the president's ally and friend in the Middle East? And it was just mystifying to him that this has not already occurred to the president. It was a fabulous rally. It's been exciting. The enthusiasm, the love for Israel, the support for Israel, and the determination for Israel and all Israeli supporters to know that there is this kind of support here in the United States was overwhelming and very, very heartwarming. I think 
we can say that the people there want to let everybody know that Americans are in favor of a safe and secure Israel, and that certainly is the reason that I've been there, and also one of the reasons why we all support the Unity Coalition for Israel so much. Um, this is Susie Rosenbluth of the Jewish Voice and Opinion. You can find us online at jewishvoiceandopinion.com, and I look forward to being with you online. If you want to write to us, thank you so much. Bye-bye.